know, before I answer the question about how I define Indianness, I would like to speak about why it is very important for any cultural entrepreneur in India. Um, you know, eventually all of us compete in a market where customers have thousands of choices already. Why then should we bring another brand to life? You know, why should we give birth to a new product or a new service, a new brand? And this is the first question I ask any entrepreneur. Why are you in this business? You know, the answer is really only if the customer will get more value and more satisfaction. Right? Now, for a cultural entrepreneur, unless the voice itself is unique, and relevant, both unique and relevant. There's no reason for it to exist. Either. The most unique thing that you can bring, what you have, is you. And what makes you is your Indianness. So for a cultural voice to be heard and liked, it must have a cultural anchor. And both whether it is Indian or global customers, they react to these rules, these anchors. Um, and we cannot claim to, you know, for example, we as Indians cannot claim to bring an authentic French uh, voice better than a brand from their respective countries, right? What, but what we can do, uh, our authenticity, our differentiation, our excellence resides in our Indianness. And it is this that the customers will welcome and open up. So this is very, very important that really, if you want to stand out, what you have is you, and what is you is defined by your Indianness. Okay. Now, how do I define Indianness? Um, I'll tell you, an, um, I'll narrate an anecdote. Uh, at one uh, of the most memorable valedictory uh, events that CCBP, we had uh, uh, Sri Rajiv Sethi, uh, uh, Bibi Doshi ji, and several other cultural luminaries assembled at I uh, Now, Rajiv evoked a very interesting idea. He evoked the importance of Indianness uh, through the example of the musk deer. You know, that goes crazy looking for the source of the fragrance when it actually lives in its own self, yeah. right? So we asked the, the assembly this very question. Which word or words do you associate with Indianness? Some 30 odd answers gave us 72 different words to describe Indian. So it is quite impossible as you said, to summarize the diversity, the abundance, the richness of the country's culture into a narrow definition, it's not possible. However, that is precisely where the biggest opportunity for any cultural entrepreneur lies. You know, Indianness, as I said, a little earlier at the beginning of this uh, question, is your Indianness, your upbringing, the land, the people, the food, the culture, the costumes, the artists, you know, the, the sounds and sights, the family, the values, all of these actually shape you, right? This is what shapes us individually. This is what uh, a unique sets of experiences since we are born uh, makes us who we are and that's what makes us unique. And this brings an opportunity to, uh, you know, to articulate your Indianness to the market. So people want a slice uh, of the scent of the air as you grew up, the taste of that water, you know, bring that to a market, it's unique, it's yours. And there are a million others, um, uh, you know, uh, like there are so many things that we may have taken for granted in, in our lives. Um, but all these things that we take for granted are actually unique to million others. And 
so my point is shape them she craft them bring them in a way that it can both stand out and fit in the lives of contemporary global audience